Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video we are going to cut different types of wood and plywood. We have 3.2 mm plywood, we have uh, 6 mm, so it's uh, 1 fourth inch, and we have uh, 10 cm, so it's 2 fifths of an uh, inch uh, wood. So the density of this plywood is 0 0.6. Uh, this piece density is 0 0.7, so it's pretty high dense uh, plywood. And for this wood, density is uh, 0 0.55 grams on one cubical centimeter. We're going to cut using our uh, 15 watt water cooled laser with auto focusing system. So, Pasha is uh, installing uh, our piece of plywood for uh, cutting. Uh, we're using air compressor over here and um, the air compressor has uh, 0.05 MPA pressure and capacity is 400, uh, 420 liters per minute, so it's quite effective uh, compressor. Let me show you about our installation. So this is our installation for 15 watt water cooled laser, a laser box, a dynamic PWM. Uh, the pump, uh, water tank, and external heatsink. So uh, the effective power of our 15 watt uh, laser is uh, 15 watt. So we are telling the truth uh, now uh, about the laser power. Now Pasha turned on the laser focusing, auto focusing, and you see uh, with that red dots they are getting closer to each other, and the software is defining the range between those two dots once they are combined in one. Uh, one single dot, the system will understand that uh, the laser system is already uh, in focus. So here is our software and uh, you can find, learn more about Endurance Auto Focusing System on our site. And uh, yes, 15 watt uh, water cooled laser uh, is equipped with this auto focusing system. Okay, we turn on our compressor. Uh, we are at a uh, film extractor, well, <laughs> we, we cannot put it in a sealed uh, chamber here, otherwise we wouldn't be able to, to see what's going on. And uh, yeah, the cool thing about this video that we are showing how to cut not just a line, not just a, a square or rectangle, we are cutting a real, uh, real shape. So in our case we are cutting shape uh, love. Cut before. Okay, and so you can see how it's uh, working now. Looks pretty good. The speed is 200 millimeters per minute and 95% power, and we have only one repeat. And you can see under that. Uh, the word love is already on the table. Now Pasha will carefully remove and we'll show you. We don't do stop cam stop video here so that you can see we're not cheating. Pasha, please shoot here. Okay. So, uh, so it's absolutely clean cut. And let me move it. Okay, so three point, I think it's three point two millimeter. Yeah, three point two millimeter piece of plywood and perfect cut. So now, now you don't need to use razor or knife or anything to remove That's everything. Everything clean and well done. Okay, now we are going to uh, cut uh, six millimeter, so one fourth inch and like I said the, the main problem the main nuance is to cut the form because you know the laser has a rectangle shape it's actually a very very wide shape and um, uh, rectangle I mean of the laser beam spot and it's very important to cut something some form and to see how that form can be cut uh, well because many Chinese guys they lie 
about uh, their laser power that that's normal and they do not support uh, their customers with software I today got a message from a guy who has no support from CNCC laser X we have a video what you can do about it how to you can replace your board with uh, gerbil or marlin using cnc uh, cnc shield and you upload uh, gerbil firmware okay we're ready to to start uh, you see that the system is uh, I, yeah, while i was speaking the system is doing auto focusing um with that axis so once we are ready Pasha will start uh, the cutting process okay everything is ready uh, let me remind you uh, laser cutting parameters we have uh, six repeats and speed is 500 uh, millimeters per minute okay we are making another attempt uh, because as you know different types of ply would they have glue they have uh, you know different uh, extra components and uh, that that's not the problem of the laser that's actually the problem of of the uh, of the material so here you see that everything well just very very small part here so this one was cut but here uh, L is uh, is good and um, yeah we can, we can just simply bring it. looks good and very very clean edge so nothing no burnt here we have some you need to clean it up to wash it but in general uh, this is I got spoke with one guy on Facebook and he said well George you need to show the proof so six millimeter thickness okay and the last one a very challenging experiment cutting uh, 10 millimeter uh, one yeah, one centimeter piece of piece of wood yeah I'm telling uh, that it's challenging because we're going to show you the life hack we'll have a piece of fabric uh, watered with very cold water okay here is piece of fabric very cold uh, watered with cold water Pasha will put it under the uh, on the worktop yeah let me show you what we got before so without that uh, life hack you get uh, very burned uh, pieces and you know I was thinking how we can avoid that so I do believe that if you do laser cut in sealed chamber uh, full filled with uh, co2 gas or maybe nitrogen you will not have it but here we don't uh, have sealed chamber and we are working on uh, a solution that any user, any uh, laser hobbyist can do at his home or office or workshop. So here is very simple: just put the water under the um, under the piece of wood or plywood. You can also add ice uh, under it or put it in just a water plate. But it's very important that you fix that position and uh, the, the laser can be focused on, uh, on, on your piece of wood or plywood. Okay, let's turn on our autofocusing auto system. So once again, uh, laser red uh, laser spots combining together and then system understands that it's the best focus and uh, we're ready, we're ready to cut. Okay. Uh, we are ready. Uh, we are using a little bit different parameters. The speed is 500 millimeters per minute and we have uh, six repeats and the one final at the speed of 100 millimeters per minute and one repeat. That's uh, required just to make sure that the, uh, all parts, everything was cut out. I'll take uh, about a few minutes. Meanwhile, if you have questions, email me gf at endurancerobots.com and I also made a new email info at endurancelasers.com. I know a lot of people ask why we're using endurance robots instead of endurance lasers, but uh, yeah, now you can also email me info at endurancelasers.com 
and uh, reach me in uh, US number is plus one two three nine three oh two zero zero five three if you have any questions and also I'm available uh, on Skype George dot format chef okay uh, let me zoom in we'll see what we have here yeah literally uh, the laser cutting parameters for wood and plywood uh, for, for this are pretty much the same but this is thicker it's almost two times thicker but less density so a lot of people are asking what type of wood plywood is better you to use I always keep saying that it's better to use low density unless you want to build something massive or something big but then uh, probably CO2 laser would be the best option if you want to cut let's say uh, something with density 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 grams on one cubicle centimeter I'm not sure that you can even cut it with a regular or, or you know, electric saw uh, but um, yeah here it's uh, it's going it's going to be good I didn't cut on particularly uh, this piece of uh, wood a little bit similar and uh, the laser is installed on CNC uh, machine 3018 and uh, we have regular uh, parameters for our uh, firmware uh, GRBL 1.1H we're using Lightburn software we always recommend that software and um, yeah let me get back once it's done okay uh, it's almost uh, ready and you'll see our our impressive results like I say uh, always you need to use uh, yeah, it's perfect. And, uh, yeah, a little bit was burned here, a little bit, but uh, in, in. yeah, just very, very small piece. So you see that in some places where it, it was probably not well uh, connected with the with the the water. I think it's well done. What do you guys think? Now you know this life hack with the water, and you can get a bit better, uh, better edges. So hope that you like this video. Please subscribe on our channel, and don't miss all endurance uh, lasers, new products, and updates. Stay tuned and have a wonderful experience with us. Bye bye.